Today in franchise football, we take a road trip to Buffalo, New York to play the Bills. Welcome back to the Atlanta Falcons franchise, everyone. I'm your host, Husker Eurocat. The Bills, led by Josh Allen, haven't had very much success in this season at 4-11. Part of the reason for that has been a very lackluster passing game, whether on the offensive or defensive line of the ball, that part of the equation has evaded them. However, something that has kept them competitive in most of their games and will put Atlanta to the test is their running game. They have the number one rushing attack offensively and the number three rushing defense in the league. At this point, you might think that they would be doing better as a complete package. Well, with the number 29 offensive passing attack and the number 20 pass defense, it's been a struggle for the Bills. Any kind of a balanced attack has not been present in Buffalo. That's what the Falcons have to game plan around, but the only problem is that without their starting quarterback, Matt Ryan, still out because of broken ribs, the passing game has suffered a lot. In order for Atlanta to be successful in today's game, backup Joe Flacco will need to find a way to get the ball down the field through the air. Can he get it done? And can the Falcons stop up a very good running attack here in Buffalo. Let's find out as the Falcons clash with the Bills here on the MMC Broadcasting Network. The rookie out of Houston, Marquez Stevenson, is back in the end zone for the Bills and brings it out. He's to the 20 and dropped before he gets to the 25. So from the 24-yard line, Josh Allen and company go to work. And it's a first down past the 35-yard line to Cole Beasley. Now, on second and eight from the 39, Devin Singletary takes it over the right side of the line, is tackled at the 42, third and five. The pass is complete. Manuel Sanders to the 48 of the Falcons for a first down. Out of shotgun, the handoff goes to Singletary and he's down to the 42. They're going to mark it at the 41, so it's second and three. A play action pass and on the run is Allen. First down inside the 35 yard line and tackled at the 30. And this is where the Bills can be very dangerous is if Allen gets out of containment. And up the middle goes Singletary inside the 25-yard line. Second and four. A flag on the play. The pass complete inside the 15 down to the 13. But let's find out what the call is offside on Stephen Means of the defense which gives the Bills a first down at the eight-yard line. Up the middle goes Zach Moss, and he's the second part of that one-two punch that the Bills have at halfback. And a touchdown pass complete to Cole Beasley. And the Bills have taken the lead six to nothing. Kendall Sheffield on the defense just didn't have the position that he needed in order to go for the ball. And that allowed Beasley to get into the end zone. Touchdown, Bills, and it's 7 to nothing with the extra point. After a Falcon three and out, back to pass as Allen takes off on the run. First down and into Falcon territory at the 49 yard line. Somehow the Falcons are gonna have to put a spy on that guy in order to make any headway in stopping this passing attack and that's complete downfield to Beasley again. A first down at the 35. The pass, this time 
down the middle to Stefan Diggs, and he has another first down inside the red zone. And the 17, second and 10. The pass complete to Singletary for a first down and out of bounds. Well, he didn't get out of bounds completely, but he's at the five yard line. Allen bootlegs, takes it himself and breaks the plane of the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. That takes him to 13 to nothing. And we haven't even got out of the first quarter yet. And <laughs> Atlanta hasn't even got a first down to their credit yet. It just seems that Atlanta might be a little bit more keyed into the pass than they probably should be. After another three and out by the Falcons, taken down in the backfield is Singletary, and that's Mitch Morse that's on the sideline. Might be in a little bit of pain, but uh, hopefully he's going to be back for the Bills. And down goes Allen. Steven Means gets to him. And that will bring us to the end of the first quarter with your score 14 to nothing, Bills. Now from the 24, standing tall in the pocket, Allen delivers it short to Matt Breida and out of bounds at the 26 yard line. It's nice to see Fabian Moreau back in the lineup after being out on injury. And second and nine, Flacco. Throws complete and out of bounds goes Hayden Hurst and out of the shotgun. Flacco throws over the middle to a wide open Russell Gage and he gets the first down at the 49 yard line. Now under center Flacco hands off to Patterson. He gets inside the 45 down to the 43. Third and two upcoming. Fakes it to the fullback and Ridley gets it and he fumbles the football. Micah Hyde with the recovery at the 39 yard line. Atlanta trying to get a little bit tricky in the early going here and it backfires on him. Now after a bill three and out, the punt is on its way. Hits inside the 10, goes out of bounds at the four yard line. So the Falcons are gonna start out in a hole here. From the four, given to Patterson, he's out to the nine yard line. Second and six, Flacco under center, fakes the handoff, standing in the end zone, fires and completes this one to tight end Josh Oliver for the first down. After a false start, Flacco throws to Patterson out of bounds at the 22 and Ezra Cleveland is down for the Falcons on the sideline. Looks to be all right. Has to sit out a play or two, but out of the shotgun. Flacco connects and that one is dropped by Bryce Love. Tredavious White knocks it out of there and it is going to be Bills football again. On second and seven from the 27. Allen on the run again, can't get out of the backfield and is sacked by Bruce Irvin. The nine year veteran making a good home for himself here on the Atlanta squad. Third and 10. Across the middle, it's complete to Cole Beasley, but well short of the first down. Duke Dawson Jr., the backup strong safety, makes the play. Now Flacco of the shotgun. Throws short to Patterson. Spins, and he goes out of bounds. There's a flag on the play, and it's a roughing the passer. Penalty on Justin Hollins. That gives the Falcons a fresh set of downs. 
And from the 47, the pass is caught by Calvin Ridley in a first down all the way to the 36 yard line of the Bills. That brings us to the two minute warning here in Buffalo. Second and eight, Flacco throws complete to Hurst and he rolls over his intended tackler and comes to rest at the 30. On third and four, Flacco throws it into the turf. So that brings out Youngway Koo. And from 47 yards out, he is true. It is 14 to three. Out comes Allen. You see the numbers on him, 10 of 13 for 101 yards and a touchdown and a rushing touchdown as well. The pass complete to the 28 yard line, the 29, bringing up second and five. Allen throws complete, a spin by Singletary, doesn't get him the first down, a timeout taken. Third and two, Allen back to pass and can't find a target, spins and downfield, Dawson Knox is open and gets into Falcon territory at the 43. Back to pass, and there goes Allen again. A first, down. no, a fumble. Picking up the ball is Michael Walker. Back to the 35 yard line. And maybe, just maybe, the Falcons can score here before halftime. Not much time left. But 19 seconds is what remains on the clock. The play action pass over the middle and Ridley gets up screaming after catching the pass and indeed it's a face mask against Deion Jones. Now with 15 seconds left from the 39, Flacco can't find anybody open and goes down at midfield. A second and 20, Flacco loading up for the Hail Mary and throws downfield into the end zone and it's knocked away. Two seconds left on the clock, and they're going to try this one again. Flacco throws it downfield, and at the goal line, it is knocked to the ground. There is just a whole lot of defense going on here in Buffalo, and going into the break, it is 14-3 in favor of the Bills. Now, with a halftime report, Let's go to Eurocat Baby. Welcome to the Toyota Halftime Report. We'll get you back to the game in a moment. Week 17 has brought an even tighter playoff race than just a week ago. The AFC, aside from the Chargers and Raiders taking front and center attention, having already wrapped up their playoff spots, leaves the rest of the conference scrambling to get in on the postseason action. In the NFC, the Cardinals are the clear favorite to claim first place and a bye week in the playoffs. Also, the Packers in a very weak North Division have secured their playoff spot. But that, however, leaves the rest of the conference in a bit of a tangled mess. The Cowboys and Eagles are battling for the NFC East crown, and the NFC South is log jammed with the Bucks, Falcons, and Saints within a game of each other. Atlanta is going to have a serious challenge overcoming the overwhelming injuries they incurred here lately in order to claim a spot on the playoff bracket. Good news is that they have Matt Ryan back in action next week. Although he won't have one of his favorite targets available in Kyle Pitts, it's still a plus. The key, however, is a win in this game here today. Can Joe Flacco orchestrate a come-from-behind win here in the second half? Stay tuned to find out, because we'll be right back. 
Welcome back everyone to Highmark Stadium here in Orchard Park, New York. The Bills got out to a fast start, scoring the opening 14 points before the Falcons knew what hit them. It's been catch-up duty since then, but the Falcons have had very minimal success. Have they come up with any solutions here at the break? Let's find out. Starting out from their own 25-yard line, the Falcons have two wideouts at the top of your screen. The pass over the middle, Calvin Ridley out past the 30-yard line, tackled at the 33, so now it's third and two. And for the first down goes Patterson up the middle. Second and seven. Patterson again. He gets back maybe to the line of scrimmage. So third and seven. Flacco alone in the backfield. Can't find anybody downfield. Dumps it off to Bryce Love. And that is incomplete. Levi Wallace knocking it out of there and bringing up fourth down. The Bills take over at their own 24-yard line. And Allen throws complete. Digs for the first down over the middle to the 37. Now out of the shotgun. He gives off the ball to Singletary and he has taken down at the line of scrimmage by Michael Walker. Allen over the middle, throws incomplete, a flag on the play. Looked to me like a holding call and that's exactly what it is on third and eight. That brings up another fourth down and the Falcons get the ball. From the 22, Patterson takes it up the middle for the first down. Now from the 29. Hand off again to Patterson. Up the middle for a five yard gain. They're having a little bit of success against this number three rushing defense. And Hurst catches it, but he is shy of the first down. So Buffalo is going to get it back at their 20 yard line. Singletary with the carry and Duran Harmon makes the stop at the goal line. Second and 10. Pass complete to Dawson Knox out to the 25. Third and five now, a flag on the play. And out of containment goes Allen for the first down to the 31. And that is a flag against the defense offside on Justin Matabike. Now second and eight from the 32. Allen back to pass and takes off to run again. And finally slides down about the 38. Third and two. And again, he takes off to run, has the first down, slides past the 40 yard line and this guy is making the Falcons defense look really bad. Singletary getting into Falcon territory for a first down at the 46 yard line. From what I can tell, the Falcons still are not putting a spy on Mr. Allen and that one complete to Diggs on the right side for a five yard gain. Under center, Allen gives off to Singletary and he is taken down in the backfield. Kendall Sheffield making the play and now it's third and 12. Five seconds, four, three. Is that the end of the third quarter? Yes it is and also a fourth and 10 upcoming for the Bills. 14 to three, a scoreless third quarter. The punt by the Bills, angling it toward the sideline and out of bounds at the four yard line yet again. 
So the Falcons in a hole out of the end zone. Flacco throws to Patterson and he gets a first down out past the 15. First down at the 17. The pass upcoming. Flacco throws over the middle short to Bryce Love for a five yard pickup. Flacco now out of the shotgun, getting into the passing mode. Complete, and a first down tackled at the 35 yard line is Patterson. On second and seven. Throw over the middle, complete to Hurst, and he has the first down. From the 49 yard line. The pass complete to Gage, struggling for the first down. Did he get it? No, it's a third and two. Flacco throws again, and a first down and out of bounds goes Bryce Love. Now from the 36, Flacco back again and completes this one to Gage. Another first down. This time at the 23. Remember, this started back on the four yard line. Another one. And this pass is completed to Allison for an eight yard pickup. Second and two. And finally, a run by Love. And he gets the first down from the 13. Flacco back to pass. And wait a minute. Who is that big fella? Backup right tackle, Isaiah Wilson of roughing the passer penalty and that one I'm sure is going to be declined and it is touchdown and the Falcons go for two. Bryce Love uh, can't get there. And it remains 14 to nine in favor of the Bills. Just over five and a half minutes left in the game. And Allen all alone in the backfield. Can't get away. He does. And he gets out past the 20. And he is down, injured, clutching at his hip. But he is on the sideline. Looks to be okay. But that brings in Mitchell Trubisky. And the throw by him is complete to Knox out past the 30 yard line for a nine yard pickup. Third and one. Trubisky back to pass, takes off, has the first down, out past the 45 and it fumbles the football. It's picked up by Fabian Moreau. And we are going to have to find out why Allen isn't back in the game. I'm not sure about that one. But as for right now, it is Falcons football on the 47-yard line of the Bills. Flacco throws complete. Quez Watkins first down at the 26-yard line. A 21-yard strike. Now on second and 10. A short pass to Hurst. He gets down to the red zone. So third and four. The handoff given to Love and he gets to the 20 and he is stuffed. So fourth and three and the Falcons are going for it. The pass bounces off Jordan Poyer and Ping pongs around a bit and falls harmlessly into the end zone. And that brings that drive to an end for the Falcons. Under three minutes left and Singletary takes it for the first down out to the 31. Trubisky back to pass. And this one is down the middle, complete to Beasley for the first down at midfield. Timeout Atlanta. Now Singletary takes it for the run and rolls over 
A man for a nine yard pickup to the 41. Another run and tackled in the backfield, Stephen Means having a really good game. And that takes us to the two minute warning. A five point lead by the Bills. And Trubisky is still in there and he is dumped in the backfield. Mike Pinnell gets to him. Uh, that only leaves 77 ticks on the clock. And starting out from their seven yard line. The pass is complete to Watkins. First down at the 23, but the Falcons really need to get it downfield and it's not gonna happen that way. Down goes Flacco and it's now third and 21. The pass goes deep. Gage cannot pull it in. So fourth and 21, this could be the ball game. Flacco throws short, out of bounds. I don't know why he even threw it that way. And uh, Buffalo is in the victory formation. 17 seconds left and that is the end of your football game. Score 14 to nine, and the Falcons can't come up with the win here today. The defense did an outstanding job after that first flurry of punches by the Bills, that is, uh, but the damage was done because Joe Flacco couldn't lead the Falcons to enough points for a win. After Allen went out of the game and Trubisky fumbled, I thought Atlanta was going to punch it in the end zone for the go-ahead touchdown. Things could have turned out so much different had Flacco been able to get the ball home once the Falcons were in the red zone. His stats look pretty good for the most part, but I wish there were a couple more TDs in those numbers. By the way, Allen is said to be good to go for next week's game with the Jets. He sustained a mild concussion when he hit his head on the turf, and as protocol dictates, he was kept out of the rest of the game. The trainers are very confident that it won't be an issue. The running game for the Falcons just wasn't there, as we kind of suspected going into this contest. Cordero Patterson was more effective in the pass out of the backfield than trying to actually run the ball but we did notice a very high dose of Bryce Love on that last drive, though. Uh, that's because Patterson pulled a hamstring the drive earlier. Unfortunately, this injury may keep him sidelined for the rest of whatever remains of the Falcons' season. Wide receiver Russell Gage sprained an ankle in that last drive of the game, and he may miss the last game of the regular season as well. One has to be wondering whether Atlanta will be going to the free agent pool before next week. From a defensive standpoint, Deion Jones must have been juiced to have a great game uh, because he certainly did. No sacks, but two tackles in the backfield and in on 14 tackles must have been satisfying against his old team. Fabian Moreau finished his first game back in action with six tackles and a fumble recovery. That's what I would call hardly missing a beat. Left outside linebacker Bruce Irvin showed today that he's worth taking another look at with one and a half sacks. Too bad he's 33 years old and that the Falcons may not resign him due to that, but then again, he may be showing that he has a little gas in the tank yet. He'll get a chance to impress the staff because the Falcons get to finish the regular season at home. The New Orleans Saints will be invading Mercedes-Benz Stadium, so will it be a bitter defeat? or a glorious ending to the regular season. We just found out as well that the Panthers defeated the Saints today. Uh, that means that all three teams are eight and eight. 
And depending on whether Carolina can beat Tampa Bay next week, we could have a real mess sorting out who wins the NFC South. Needless to say, who is going to be in the playoffs. Will there be three playoff teams from the South? (laughs) I don't know. This could be a really wild finish. That's going to wrap things up for this episode of the Atlanta Falcons franchise on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Defensively, Atlanta played a very complete game after the first quarter, that is. The offense tried to play catch up the rest of the way, but came up with a big fail. What will happen when the Saints come to town? Will Matt Ryan be able to get the ball to his playmakers, or will the defense have to come to the rescue again? Oh, and by the way, (laughs) who will those playmakers be? Uh, To find out, join us as the Falcons play host to the Saints. And until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good day, everyone.